Good day, everybody. This is Jeff with Eternity Shore. Uh, do you have a dock box? Right off the bat, I want to say, I want to hear what you do. Do you have a dock box? And what do you put in the dock box? What do you use your dock box for? Love to see that in the comments below. I might have mentioned to you before that um, our slip doesn't have any room for a dock box because of that one across the way. Um, but we wanted to get one. And uh, I've actually been looking online for a fiberglass dock box. So they're sturdier, they're designed to withstand the elements. They look sleek, they look nice, uh, but they're so expensive. They're so expensive. Even smaller ones seem to be about six, seven, eight hundred dollars. Then I couldn't find anything on Facebook, Marketplace, or, or Craigslist. Um, so we went in a different route. Let's just take a look at some of the ones that are uh, at our marina right here. You can see that that is not a fiberglass one. It's a polyurethane. Um, this is from West Marine. But uh, again, that is actually not fiberglass. A couple people don't have a dock box. Here's another one that is not fiberglass. And here's another one that's not fiberglass. And we get to the end. We have yet another one in our marina so far we don't see any now the cross over there i see there's a fiberglass one over there and going down our our next pier it's amazing to me how few boats are in the water uh come on guys look at all these empty spots all these empty spots over here and i know that um it's not completely filled but there are, are no dock boxes over there and so these are some smaller boats here, which you wouldn't necessarily expect to see dock boxes. Although if I had a smaller boat, I'd have less room on. Boy, that's a beautiful boat. Must be transient. Here's another dock box. But this one is, again, not, not fiberglass. Yellow fin. So you got four 350s on the back of this. Wow. I'm gonna take a look at this. That is a big, big powerful boat. Could we be coming up to our first fiberglass dock box? Could it be? Yes, it is. It's a fiberglass dock box, our first one that has no boat and there's one other dock box over there uh, and that one is not fiberglass so in in our marina we have one fiberglass dock box just one i thought fiberglass was necessary i thought it was you have to have it now obviously you could go to a marina that requires that and you have to be careful with that we were looking at a different marina in the area and um, they required, if you had a dock box, it had to be kind of identical to everybody else's. Fiberglass. Um, and it makes sense, it looked really nice. There was a uniformity to it and everything else. But here's one of my questions. One of the questions is, um, will you always be able to get to a slip that can handle your dock box size? Maybe you want a different size in the future. Maybe you start out with something small but you realize you need something larger. It feels like, um, oh, here's Mr. Snake. So lots of creatures today. And that, that guy's not small. There he goes. So because it wasn't absolutely necessary for us to get a fiberglass dock box, I thought I would save money and spend about $150. I'll actually put up the, the price here, I don't remember it, on this large deck box. So this is what we ended up buying. So this box is smaller because we, we're not gonna be able to put the box here. So we can't, with this box being here, we can't put a box here or else people can't walk by. So my intention is to put this box together. We'll put it at an angle across here 
um, you know, facing that way, or actually facing this way, obviously. Here he goes. Where's he going? Just taking your picture. Jared, you gonna scare the crap out of me if I, in the middle of the night, leave the boat? That's what you normally do. You're normally right there, you're sleeping somewhere. I'm walking down the dock, and you squawk and then fly away. So there are the parts. I'll give you a, I'll even give you a screwdriver in there. That's pretty cool. Now, with all those pieces, I could lose them on the deck. So, on the dock, I could lose them. But I think I'm going to put the slice this up and put this down and build it on top of that. let me review what I did my batteries running out so nice fly one two three four five six screws on each side with the sides in the hinges were just uh, two screws and a plate uh, here at the bottom on both ends two screws and a plate two screws and a plate and I'm almost done Okay, so last thing I did was I put this, this arm in there, and the way that comes down is you just, I guess, scoot that forward when you want to close it, which is hard to do with one hand, but. So that has to actually, if you, if you lift it up and pull it towards you, then it comes down. Um, but I'm not a huge fan of it, that latch anyway. Uh, the lock This is for the lock go in here So again, it's about four feet wide about four feet by two feet by two feet I, I think the instructions were, were pretty clear for the most part I made one or two mistakes it took me about an hour to do it because I made a mistake or two uh, Just 
putting too many of those. Actually, I put too many of these. I put two instead of one to start so I don't screw something. But this is spare parts, which is nice. Um, I actually might just go ahead and use those two screws. Use them here because that'll be a better, in my opinion, a better grip than this. This feels really, this feels really shabbily loose to me. So that's what I'll probably do.